Today's tale is titled, Addressing the Second. Lord Hubris sits opposite Lord Wisdom. He is of the type Qatar, and his symbol is the crown. To his right is the unknowable, which is invisible and colorless to only him, as he refuses to look upon it. To his left is the courageous, which is always a thorn in his side, as he refuses to concern himself with it. Betwixt he and the wise are the needy and unworthy, and he spits upon them with his belly's acid, because he believes he is above them. The Davites tell us that he will never die, for their book's end does not include him. Believe or disbelieve them as you wish. Lord Hubris is of great cunning. It is said that with enough time, he could always sway the Council of Equity into his favor. His strength is like that of a hundred men, but he never need exercise it, for his voice is his greatest weapon. He appeals to the hearts of man, so that in the death of battle they will switch to his side. The face of Lord Hubris is unassailable, for to look into his eyes and hear his voice sways his enemy's allegiance. Lord Hubris is deceptive and manipulative, and only Lord Wisdom is perfectly immune to his tricks. Despite that he is always able to be on the side of the betrayer, and that he is always able to persuade the doubts of the knowledgeable, he is unable to change the opinion of the wise. Lord Hubris is of great endurance. It is said that if he can be cut in twain, his headless half will come alive to struggle with him. When in combat, even as his mortal foes strike blades into his flesh, he shrugs them off and speaks to them. Even when there are those who are particularly stubborn, the swaths of his claws will steal their fates away from them. Lord Hubris boasts that of all Espy that are able, none can beat him in battle, as he will outlast them always. His opposition to the wise is unending and unyielding, for he believes the Deva that he will live forever. He believes he can sully Lord Wisdom's reputation such that the other ten members of the Council turn against Lord Wisdom and grant Lord Hubris his victory. Starl laments. Lord Hubris has the face of a ghost, but made with stone. It is like the whiteness of salt, but as hard as rock. He does not speak from his mouth, for his words pierce into the minds of those he is speaking to. It is said that the only times Lord Hubris changes his expression are in the memories of those who have spoken to him. The neck of Lord Hubris is long and sinewy, so that his face may always look into the face of that which he is speaking to. Lord Hubris sheds blasphemies from his skin like sweat, and so to keep his face far from his body muffles the whispers of disgust. His talons are innumerable and smeared with the flesh of those who did not follow him, as he is a wrathful lord. His spit is black blood, and those who touch it are burned by it. And when enraged, the drool of Lord Hubris is said to come alive and form words in the drops it leaves on the ground. Our elders' twilight have told us that Lord Hubris has existed always, but has not always been as he is today. In a time long before ours, he was instead two things, but have since become one. A visage made of poor slain, worn by the ancient Tarask. Thank you for listening. Site42 Studios and its staff are funded by viewers like you. Please become a patron or visit our merch store at the link in our bio to support our work. Secure. Contain. Protect.